everybody, this is uh, BKC back in Planet Explorers. Today we want to talk about um, guns a little bit and um, how they work in the game and um, how to create custom ones. Um, these are the end gun games. I put them in my hot bar. This is the first gun, your basic pistol. It has a super slow fire rate. It uh, does zero, you know, next to no damage at 64. Um, the assault, the, uh, the rifle type one, still has a really slow fire rate, still does little to no damage. Um, it gets outclassed almost in every way by, um, um, other things that you can get from Chin, which is where these two items come from. And, um, at the same time, um... You get the chin and resort all this because it's got all out of whack. You got uh, you can get the iron sword, which the iron sword puts out 120 damage, and you can also have an iron shield at the same time, which gets you uh, plus 88 to your defense and gives you 46 percent block chance. So, um, you know, early game it's not really a, any. There's no real advantages to having these guns. They're really, really labor intensive to get your resources. You need wood to make uh, charcoal. You need sulfur from digging in the ground. You need copper from mining to make gunpowder. You also, at the same time, you get chin. You can get a, a, an iron bow, which an iron bow has 58 damage, which is not far off of this pistol. And the the bullets you need the wood to make uh, charcoal just use the wood to make arrows it's actually a better more efficient way um, to, to get going um, by the time I think you get to Arturo you can get the type 2 rifle uh, but by the time you are at Arturo you can you've met Hitomi or it's either Hitomi or Chen one of them has the uh, golden bow um, this is 98, and like I said, once again, versus 124, if it had a higher fire rate, I would say yes, you could do it, but it still just, it still gets outclassed by the iron, uh, the golden bow, um, and you can get those two items about the same time, and what you can get before all of these items is the blaster, and the blaster is superior in a way that it doesn't use bullets. You're not going to sit there and be farming up resources to fire this thing. It only uses 10 energy out of a battery pack. And um, it does 114 damage per shot. So it is uh, actually a superior a superior um, item. Because um, you're not farming up resources to get bullets. Um, later in the game though... Um, you know when you when you got I, I play mostly melee and if um, I'm running around with my gold sword my gold shield with my you know over 300 defense and I'm doing like 290 attack sometimes I'll get attacked by a red corona or something like that and I can't um, I can't um, hit them so you know having a blaster or a custom gun is the uh, ideal solution just to pull out and basically murder them. Um, what I have here is I built, I have two custom pistols and um, they're just little basic pistols that I got to show you the difference between the two um, muzzles in the game. The um, If you use a pistol grip you can only have one muzzle so you only get a choice between the single shot and the multi shot and I'll show you this two pistols right here are the same exact pistols with just the barrels changed. Um, the single shot is basically as fast as I pull the trigger. So I set up a macro on my keyboard. I can get that pretty friggin' high. The only problem with that is it's doing uh, 81 damage per shot. And... Um, it, it basically the high fire rate has a higher DPS um, for an equal gun that would be 81 damage or even a little bit above because the fire rate makes up for the uh, lack of damage um, but it will be very very uh, resource uh, 
a resource hall because of the fire rate. The next gun that I have down here is uh, one, two, three, four, five. This number six. It's the same gun with the multi-shot barrel, and it basically has the same fire rate as the end gun games. All I think all the guns in the game have a uh, multi-shot barrel, one multi-shot barrel. But if you look at the difference between these two, this one has a um, attack of 81. This one has an attack of 110, so it's almost it's almost as high of a damage as the uh, it, it surpasses the the rifle, and it um, it's almost as high as the rifle type two. So and it'll be a little bit more, even though I can't put out the damage as quick. I'm not wasting a lot of bullets. I don't. I'm not putting out bullets as fast, and I'm getting more damage in per bullet. So that's just like a, a, a choice you have to make depending on your situation. If it's a tough enemy, you probably want to get as much bullets out as possible, as fast as possible. If it's a small enemy, you probably want to put a high damage and you know kill them in one or two shots. Um, so that's the difference in, in muzzles. Um, but when you get into custom rifles, if you use the rifle... Um, with this is a gun that I've built for um, this type of uh, for this suit right here. Uh, it's, I probably I missed the color a little bit. I should have went a little bit greener, but it almost matches the belt. Um, when you put a, a rifle handle down, you can use up to four barrels, four muzzles. So you can have single shot muzzles or double shot muzzles which is exactly the same um, statistics as the um, guns but you just get to use four of them so these are multi-shot muzzles so they're gonna do the burst they're gonna do a single fire but they're gonna shoot four bullets at once and if you look at the specs on this since the multi-shots do more damage per uh, oop, I must have downloaded the wrong gun because this one only has two mu No, it's showing up right. I was looking at my blaster. Um, if you look at the specs, it does 145 damage per per muzzle. And if you look at the other multi-shot, this one only does 110. So I'm getting an extra 35 damage per muzzle and then I'm shooting out four bullets. And if you notice the spray pattern, it really doesn't have a spray pattern. It, uh, it's basically putting all four bullets in the same spot. So this at 145, that's uh, 290 and 290, that's uh, four, um, 580 damage that this gun is putting out. So, um, you know, custom guns um, are definitely the way to go if you're going to play um, um ranged weapons and you don't want to use the bow and you don't mind farming up the re uh, the materials and the resources to make bullets um, as soon as you get to Adisa you have access to all these gun parts so go in the creator and make you a nice little uh, gun and uh, it doesn't even have to really be nice I'll show you that in a minute um, but and the rules would apply the same if I put multi shots on here this thing would fire like a machine gun as fast as I could pull the trigger, um, but the damage would be a little bit lower. So since I'm seeking top damage, I got multi-shot muzzles on this one. And remember that you're shooting four bullets at a time. So if I put multi-shots on here, uh, I would really be going through bullets. So I, I, I kind of stick with the multi-shots when I go um, with a rifle with four barrels. And basically all there is is just... Um, it's two muzzles, and then there's two muzzles in here behind those muzzles. So, um, and then the last gun I want to show you is um, number eight, which is a blaster. And basically I wanted a hand cannon since the game doesn't allow you to have hand cannons. Uh, they do like maybe three or four hundred damage per shot. So I try to make this kind of like I put a little muzzle. It's just basically two muzzle barrel uh, two laser muzzles on the laser barrel so it's just a blaster with an extra barrel and it does the exact same thing but I built it like a pistol thinking that it'd be like a hand cannon 
and you know I put this crazy looking sight and everything and made it match the blue suit and uh, it does good damage 153 per barrel whereas it's 114 so it's got an extra 39 39 extra you know per 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 barrel just by making a custom blaster um, and the only thing is is it does use the energy twice as fast where the regular blaster uses 10 energy per shot this one uses 20 energy per shot because it's two shots but also realize that you're putting out two shots and you're doing higher damage per shot so where this one this gun does 114 this one does 306 so uh, this one definitely has a higher DPS but the game for some reason it holds it like a rifle so me designing this gun kinda was a waste because I don't like the way the character holds it and puts it on his back he should have put it on his hip like a pistol maybe we'll get a, a different uh, grip later on in the game um, but I'm gonna go back and redesign this as a uh, rifle and um, but today we're gonna show creating just a custom gun okay so once we get into the editor um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go create we're gonna go to equipment gun and this is what we're gonna get we're just gonna get same basic build material um, the scaling is a lot different each voxel is five millimeters so each major grid is 25 centimeters so that's you can kind of scale this out we've gone you know from meters down to millimeters now so um, everything in here that you create you think is going to be small but when you get it into the game it's actually it actually becomes a lot smaller so well we don't want to uh, first thing we want to do is we want to put a, a, a rifle grip down and uh, if you want to put like a stock on it kind of bring it forward a little bit but today I'm not going to build a stock I'm just going to build like a uh, I want to build kind of like a sniper rifle type gun and um, it's using parts that I don't normally use like the multi sh uh, I mean the single shots because they have you know a lower damage per barrel and then they um, and then I don't usually align them in a sniper type configuration so um, let's go ahead and we'll use those barrels today we'll make something that kinda looks like a sniper rifle but I suspect that it'll fire more like a uh, you know um, more like a machine gun actually so let's uh, just uh, go ahead and we'll drag out some uh, single shot muzzles here and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna place one down I'm gonna make sure it's centered uh, that looks centered and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line them up end to end to give me a long barrel okay and then we're gonna check them out they all look pretty good and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into materials we're gonna um, drop this plane down a little bit um, we're gonna go with aluminum because it's the highest it it has the highest multiplier without going to diamond because diamonds kinda hard to get and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag us out a block of aluminum connect it to the gun right here and then drag it up okay and then we're just gonna add more blocks and just blocks on top of blocks on top of blocks until we get a huge um, actually I wanna go um, more out than that because remember everything in here it may look size proportion but it always comes out I find it always comes out smaller than um, when you actually get it in the game so let's go ahead and make a huge block of aluminum we'll go ahead and we'll put a, uh, a um, triangle on the back of it give it an angle in the back and then what we'll do is we'll just uh, basically delete some of these blocks um, in the front delete selection delete selection and we'll just put an angle on the front a little bit just so it's not so blocky um, we'll take down some of this 
and sometimes deleting one thing makes you get on this vicious cycle of deleting other things but you know that's cool we can uh, we can take this off that's no big deal delete selection try to get it a little more round um, delete selection delete selection yeah we want to um, gonna hold down shift add 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 uh, oops I did something crazy there but we can go add that back no big deal uh, what is it oh I got a triangle on let's undo that Okay, I was like, man, why did it come out so weird looking? Okay, so we'll put that back in. Um, that looks pretty good. Let's just see what the statistics um, of just that. I mean, that's not a very attractive looking gun. Matter of fact, um, I don't know where my camera's acting up today. Um, I got something on and my computer's not acting right because the camera is just not acting right. Um, let's add some more material in here because that looks a little... Um, looks a little off right here, so we want to start about like right here And what we want to do is we want to put some more material in Just to kind of fill in this area um, Do I have my mirroring on? No, I do not. I should always have my mirroring on and I always forget Um Let's hide the parts because I want to fill in a little bit here and I can't get to it. So, oh man, we got some off. Um, let's unhide the parts and see what we got off over here. Okay, so we just didn't fill in enough right probably here. Let's just go and see if that, yeah, that's about the same. Uh, we got a little hollow in the inside. Um, let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, no, I don't want to go that far. Okay. Got some crazy little wonky thing going on here, but just because I forgot mirroring on, it's nothing, nothing major. Um, and what we want to do is. Um, no, I don't want to. I don't want to go past that. I want to kind of go here and uh, go up, and then kind of go. Um, the thing about guns, I mean, there's really nothing much that I can show you because it's really just create what you want, what you think looks good. Um, you know, this ain't really that that great looking, but let's go look at the statistics on it. Um, you know, it's 12 kilograms. It's the meat. It sells for 570 meat, which is probably way less than what these parts are cost you in the game. Um, the final attack is 467. Okay. Um, by adding this aluminum, you can see that the increase is 67 percent. So, if you look at each individual muzzle. The muzzle says it does 70 attack with a 67% increase um, has brought this thing up to uh, 460. So it's doing over 100 and uh, probably about 15, 116 per barrel right now attack. And, um, you know, basically just... Um, you could put a block of aluminum. You could put the single shots if you want a, a fast fire rate. Put the uh, multi shots um, if you want a higher damage uh, with a slower fire rate. And uh, just, you know, add stuff to it. Um, every time you add stuff to it, you will change its um, dimensions. Um, I did figure out how to do a backwards cone, and I can show you all how to do that right now. What you want to do is you want to put your Z mirror in on, which is not showing up. Why is it not showing up? 
Where is it? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not I'm, okay, I'm not in materials. Let's uh, move it to like 80. Um, just to get it closer to the back of the gun. And you just use these little uh, plus and minus arrows to move stuff. To move the plane. Because you don't have to leave it way out here and build something out here to get something back here. You could put it here and uh, build something right here and get it on the front of the gun. So what I basically want to do... Oh, I never uh, angled the side of it on this side. So uh, let me uh, take this off real quick. Okay, so, I mean, little things I do to uh, make guns look a little better. Um, if I could get my camera on the gun, it's so wonky today. Um, turn your turn your mirroring off because guns are very normally never symmetrical. Um, what I normally do is I just like to put a um, like a bullet discharge chamber. And uh, basically, you just, uh, let's go three on this. Delete selection. What I do is I just go like, uh, I just go into the gun one. Um, I usually take about half of one off. And then, uh, you know, then I usually take um, more off there. And then uh, one off, let's see, here, and then uh, that, that's pretty good. Um, another thing I use on guns, I, uh, I, I make like a bolt, like, you know, if it to like eject a, a stuck bullet. You just put a little bar out like that and kind of put a little um, arm on it. Um, you can get real fancy with it and uh, put all kinds of little things on it. Um, another thing I'll do um, is I'll put safeties on guns and just put a uh, just put like a three by three and then put like a three like that to make like a little safety um, trigger. Um, another thing you can do, you could put ribs down the side to dress it up. Um, if I can get my mouse, my camera to stop being, let me put my X mirror on. So, um, if you put decorations on, go on the uh, side that you did the bolt because, um, see, I want to put a, a, a raised thing, but I don't want it to be on, um, I don't want it to mess up my, bolt so you could put a raised thing like that and then get it on the other side then turn your mirroring off and since it's not symmetrical you just carry it down on this just this side and uh, say like I want to put a raised here and I want to make it like in line I want to make it look like it's in line with so what I'll do is I'll put my mirroring on because I know there's nothing in there on the other side of the gun and I'll bring it out exactly the same and then I'll come about right here and I'll bring it out and then what I'll do is I'll turn my mirroring off and then just complete this line because there's no safety on this side and that just makes it look like the safety is kinda like tucked into where it doesn't accidentally turn off and then um, if I wanted another another line say uh, this is probably an uneven number so I can't do it but you could also um, use your um, deletion to delete a groove. You can come in here and um, delete a groove. Delete selection. Oops, I didn't do it with the mirror on. Um, let me go back to my default aluminum. If you, you can just fill it back in real quick. Uh, put my mirror on. And uh, since I know the, the the whole other side of the gun is good, I can just, um, nope, I want to select. I can go all the way down the gun and uh, delete selection. Um, that gives you two types of ribbing. Um, you can put little uh, grills. 
by alternating um, like um, raise one delete another delete selection it puts like and then add another uh, I think it's two like this on the side and then come across one like that and you can add these uh, let me take that off delete section there we go you can add like these little grill type things um, you can add stuff to the barrel like most snipers have a um, a discharge muzzle on them uh, a silencer type thing on them uh, basically it's just an exhaust pipe for a a gun and you can you could add that on it it doesn't it doesn't hurt anything to add stuff to your you know it doesn't hurt that it's in the barrel um, get my reference plane back down you know you can be all kinds of crap if you want to make some sci-fi guns go ahead and put chemical tanks on there put batteries you know um, put um, you know just anything you want on the gun it, it doesn't have to be uh, you know it doesn't have to uh, be like a modern gun it could be a sci-fi gun um, put a grill a little vent on that and we'll take the back side of this off um, let's get all that out the barrel um, let's put my depth on plus 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 oh, okay. plus plus okay and we're gonna select these two delete selection that looks pretty friggin cool uh, let's take this up no 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 not let's take the depth off I just want this shift and this delete selection yeah that looks pretty cool you know it just kinda gives it like a little muzzle thing and then the other thing that really dresses up a gun um, is a scope. You put a scope on a gun and it really looks good. Um, you could put grading too. Grading always looks good. And I showed y'all how to do that in the car tutorial. Just hold shift and uh, just do a checkerboard pattern. Um if you just add a layer on top to where you can see through it it looks really cool um, delete selection you can get that kind of effect and um, you know you can do grading you can um, stand this off one put another plate and put grading or some rails or something and make it look really cool and in depth but the scope I'll show you how to make a, a really cool little scope real quick. Um, you bring that um, Z plane back. Um, what we do is we're going to bring our reference plane up where we want the bottom of the scope. So we want the scope to be about like right above that little vent in the front. So we want to start it about right here. And since we can't put front and back cones, we can only shape a cone um, tab this way. We're going to build off the back of the gun. And what we're going to do is, uh, I think this is 10 by 10. Uh, let me go, um, let's go, um, let me get to where I can see. Um, this is going to be 10, 12, 13, 14. So let's go 14. by 14 see what it did it drew a cone the other direction and then what I can do is I can put the cylinder and then I can uh, let me drag it out make sure it's right um, tab tab okay it's right now um, that was 14 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up I'm at 53 now I'm gonna bring it up to 54 and uh, 14 was uh, two voxels over. I'm just going to go um, one voxel over. And I'm going to do a 12. Um, i got to be on the uh, plane. So this is 10. That's going to be 12. 
and come almost to the edge of the cone. Twelve by twelve. Oh man, I didn't quite get it, but let's undo that. I don't think I had it centered anyway. I think my, my, my scope is not centered on my gun. I think I messed something up somewhere. Let's undo that. Um, go back to the cone. Um, my cone is going to be, this is 10, that's 12, that's 14. So it should be 14. Okay, something's kind of get some kind of laggy. 14, okay. And then we're going to bring it up one. Fifty. No, I don't think that's right. I was at, uh, is that the plane I was on? Yes, I was on this plane. So at 54, I'm going to go to 55. And then I'm going to go back to the cone tool. I'm going to check it, make sure it's the right direction. It is. And I'm going to go one box allowed. And I need to start way in front. And I'm only going to go 12. But I'm going to bring it back to where it seems like about the right size. And then bring it up to 12. Uh, didn't quite. I should have dragged it out a little more. But you get the idea. It gives you a scope look. And then what you can do is you can go in here and go uh, add plus. Um, add some depth. Let's add like uh, about 50 to the depth. And then what I can do is I could come in here and uh, delete this selection. Oops, I put a hole in it. So let's back up. And we're going to just delete. Okay, so we're uh, we're still kind of since I didn't uh, I didn't quite um, bring this far enough back. I can't put this hole as big as I would like to, but that's okay. We'll uh, um, undo. I can't. I really can't go that far. I can only go like this far. Nope, can't do that far. But you can just play around with it until you get the, uh, you know, the, the amount of material. Uh, I don't have my um, X and Y on. That's why I can't. Okay, and then so we can probably take this off without a problem. And then we can probably take more of this off without a problem. Yeah, okay. So we kind of got a scope look on that thing. We got a bullet discharge. We got a thing. We got a little vent right here. We got a little uh, muzzle flash suppressor exhaust thing. We got some grating. You know, and we can uh, let's turn the Z off. We'll leave the X on. Well, actually, we will turn the X off when we paint it because uh, since we don't have a symmetrical gun, um, let's go into paint, and uh, a good gunmetal color is always uh, 25. I'll just use the brush, and I'll just paint this whole. Let me turn the radius up a little bit, and I'll just paint the whole thing. I want to. I don't want that scope floating. I forgot about that. I want to put some uh, little legs to hold the scope up. I don't want it just floating there. I'm gonna do inside the scope, so kind of darkens it up in there a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to like some um, I'm going to go some five percent black, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the selection method. I'm going to take my depth off first.
um, and then I'm a fill color a fill color just to kind of add like something to the rim fill color and I mean I could if I took the time I could paint just the cone area and look like a, a thing then what you want to do kind of come in here uh, fill color make like a shadow um, you can come down bring it down to here fill color um, you could even come in here with a brush usually I find it's pretty easy to get in here with a brush and uh, just stay on the voxel that you want kind of give you a little little shadow up in here um, I kind of want that but I can't get it okay well. it's not perfect but um, Come in here and we'll paint that. Um, you can for these grilling. Um, if you take a point five, you can come right into the center of these with your little point five brush and hit them and get a pretty good little effect like this. Um, sometimes they won't do. You have to do like over a little bit to get them to work. But I always find this works out pretty good for this grill kind of hit them a little bit over to one side a little bit over to the other so just tap them twice each little hole see I went over a little bit right there but it's easy to touch them back up you know and you can kind of fill this area with just two taps per hole because it does half a box of per thing and then you can go back to your 25 percent and uh, erase what you messed up. Back up. Okay, we got that. Um, we're going to do, while we're on the 25, we're going to catch this little spot we missed. Um, I do want to put some brackets in here. So let's go to materials. We'll go to default aluminum. We just don't want that scope floating in the air like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, let me put my mirroring on. Um, I'm going to put the X and Y and the Z on. That way I can do it all in one without a big deal. Whatever I get on one, I can get on all of them okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this section delete selection okay now I got a little bracket and then uh, we can go back into paint and we're gonna get a 50 um, like a 50 for a silver color and uh, we're gonna select that entire thing fill color and uh, it should have did the front, the backs, the inside, the outside. We're also going to select the safety. Fill color, do it silver. And then we're going to do the uh, the bolt silver, fill color. And then uh, we'll go back to our 25, turn all this off because I should have never had the Z on because I painted a, a, a safety front and back. Uh, Let's go back to 20, 25, go back to the brush, okay, I painted up on this side, and then um, I don't, I want to do the rest black, um, I'll show you the difference between a recessed paint line and a us. Uh, extruded if you take the selection method on an extruded fill color you get a very distinctive line like that very 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 distinctive line fill color 
on a recessed fill color you get a very small line so you can take that like to your advantage and just uh, you know like up in here fill color whereas here fill color I get a more pronounced um, um, line and I mean that looks pretty good for a gun let's uh, close this window go back to uh, materials uh, take a picture and put it into the game um, it looks a little stubby it probably would have did better to have some more material out here like a little some kind of fairing to uh, make it a little bulkier in the front but uh, statistics wise we ended up with a, a 481 attack so let's uh, go ahead and we'll save this we'll get us a, a background color um, Uh, let's go uh, let's do a red background color the, the the gun don't act right it doesn't zoom in and out like right I can't get the uh, the picture I want okay well let's just capture it since it's giving me trouble and we're gonna call this the uh, sniper and um, we're gonna save it and then we're going to export it and look at it to the get into the game. Oops, I think I exported it twice, but it doesn't matter. Okay, um, let's go ahead and look at it in the game. It's probably going to be way at the end. I don't see it. There it is. Um, let's go ahead and put it in slot one. And uh, I mean, it looks looks pretty good it looks like a gun um, you know I could have put stickers on it um, and as I expected it fired as fast as I could pull the trigger but the uh, final specs on it is 120 per barrel so that's 480 damage the uh, attack increases 71.9% and it has a hundred and seventy percent accuracy so um, you know it's a, it's a decent little gun you know it's, a, my, it's my first little sniper that I built the eyepiece looks about in the right spot it probably could have been a little wider and a little longer um, you know a little more fairing out here but um, you know it's a gun and it far surpasses any of the end gun game the, uh, in game guns that they have pre-made for you so um, there's no reason not to make a custom gun um, get in the editor and play around they, they're not really difficult and you get the most improvement out of making a custom gun um, don't use the end game guns make you a custom gun um, the improvement is so much better um, it's the same difference between walking and having a car um, flying versus a car it's the same upgrade um, versus using it's it's probably tenfold um, than using the end game so hope that got uh, shows you guys how easy it is to create a gun in the editor and how big of an improvement it is and uh, that there's no reason not to do it and uh, so I'll uh, see you guys in the next one where we'll probably be going over swords a little bit, which I haven't really got that much into. I haven't created a lot of swords. Um, I think I've only created like two, and one of them's not even a sword. So uh, we'll get into that next time. See you guys.